Hi, welcome back. So, I'm going to do part two, my conclusion and flight footage. Yes, you're going to see some flight footage coming up. There isn't a very long flight because the weather started to turn, so there's only about two or three minutes of flight. But you're going to get the idea what the camera looks like. But like I say, it's not these things aren't necessarily about the camera. So, the GPS drone, this is lovely. It's probably the quietest one I've ever flown. It flies really, really nice. Now, the camera doesn't look horrendous it looks like you'd expect from this but the problem i've got is i only got 75 meters before it lost the app so and i've tried a few times to go past that and it doesn't it so to be fair if you want to fly this you want to be sticking in with the 50 to 60 meters if you want to get some video footage because when it loses the app it's going to lose the video obviously if you don't want to fly it with the app i've had this about, well i don't know i know one, i know where i was flying i know it's 200 meters to a certain point i went so i had 200 meters out of it with a controller and it was fine there was no problem with it controlling so that isn't going to be an issue the issue is going to be obviously the wi-fi reception back to the phone from here not great um not great at all the antenna sticks out the side there as well will it it's never going to be great now if i put um i could actually try this with a um, you know, a Wi-Fi extender, but it's not going to make it that much better. It's a close-range flyer, and to be fair, would you want to be flying this thing 200 metres away like I just did anyway? It's very small, so I, I don't know. I think I knew where I was flying. I knew the cricket club I was flying at, so I knew certain distances, and I knew where to turn and where it was in the sky, but I, I, I probably wouldn't recommend going that kind of distance. So 50 metres, for the money, it's probably going to be all right. So if you wanted a cheap drone and you want something to fly in a short range, say 50, 60 metres, and you want a video camera that doesn't look too bad, it's not brilliant obviously, you're getting what you pay for, aren't you? But the stability of flight was brilliant, it flew so nice, and on, on, speed, on the top speed mode it's actually quite quick, it turns nicely, it doesn't really dip in the sky too badly, and the only thing that did catch me out, and I don't know if you're going to see it on the video, is uh, when I first started flying it, it, I got 25, I think it was, metres, and it just stopped, and it literally stopped, and then it wobbled all over, and I thought, what's going on with this? I had the beginner mode turned on, on the app, so, <laughs> be no, turn the beginner mode off. Because um, with the beginner mode, it's like the geofence really works well. So, yeah, I have to say I recommend it. I think it's a great bit of kit for the money. I think you've just got to remember this isn't something you'd want to fly miles away, but I think it's absolutely fine for what it does. It hasn't got the expected range as what it says, but these things never do. Now, what I will say is the battery says 12 to 14 minutes. I landed it at 10 and I still had 27% according to the app. So I'm guessing the battery life is probably not that far out. But it is really smooth and it's really quiet. I don't know if you can tell so much for the video that I want to show you. But it is a lovely, quiet thing to fly. So, if, it, if you could pick it up for 60 odd, 60 quid, early 60s is what I paid for it. And it doesn't go up in price. Yeah, certainly if it comes down in price, definitely go for it. I liked it. I was a bit surprised. I thought I wasn't going to. But yeah, remember, when you're buying one of these, don't buy it for the camera. Because they're never going to be great. You're buying it to have a bit of fun with and to get you into camera drones. See if you can line your shots off and get some kind of general idea of what it's like to fly a camera drone. Um, but with this one, like I say, because it's a bit quicker, you can have a bit of fun with it. I'm leaving you with the video footage. You're going to see footage from my GoPro to show you how what it looks like in the end, how stable it is. And I also hover it at head height so you can see what it's like. And the footage is a short flight footage taken directly from my phone because there's no SD card in this drone. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks very much for watching, have a fantastic day.